This is just a quick video today about something that I picked up recently and I thought you might be interested in seeing it. It's a wall radio. The model is the Maximal TR2 and it's an AM FM mono radio. This one was manufactured for the German market, which is where I imported mine from. On the rear of the case, you've got two picture hook holes at the top to hang it up on the wall. At the bottom of there is where the battery compartment is, which holds six C cells. The case is all made out of plastic, so this is a fake wood grain effect on the sides. The front of the case is covered in a perspex sheet, apart from the cutout for the speaker. And this LED power meter on the front adds a little bit of visual interest. As well as your band and your on off switch, you've also got a tone switch in the middle here. If you want to improve the FM reception, of course, pull out the aerial from the top of the frame, but then that does upset those picture frame looks just a little bit. But really, that's all it is. It's just a radio in a picture frame. So there's not an awful lot to talk about here. You'll see this is a very short video, but for some reason, this just appealed to me, and I thought it might be something that you'd be interested in seeing as well. Although one thing that I think they could have done with doing here is just tidying up the circuit board a little bit with it all being on display. This is a little bit messy up there, but they've done some other things, such as the string which goes around to the radio tuner. That's coloured black and white, so that when you twist that dial, you can see it moving. Now this Maximal brand is a German label. I don't think they had all that much to do with the manufacture of this wall radio. It was bought from a company in Hong Kong and they just stuck their name on it. In fact, on the back, it's got the wrong name. It says Maxial TR2. This was made in the early 1980s, but Maximal in Germany can be found as a name on lots of different consumer electronics devices. Now there were two different versions of the wall radio though. The one that I've got is the TR2. That's the original one. The follow-up was the PR200M and they've made quite a few changes to this. It's got a proper wood frame. The battery compartment is now on the front behind the logo at the bottom there. All the components now, rather than being behind perspex, stand out from the backboard and the aerial, as you can see, is inside the top of there as well. And you can see they've also taken the opportunity to do a bit of tidying up on that circuit board. Now this second one, the PR200M, made its way to the US and was sold under the AC Delco brand. So if you like the idea of a wall radio and you've still got FM reception, which I know people in the US tend to have, but not everyone around the world does anymore, this might be something that you want to look out for the next time you're out and about thrifting. Right, so that was it. It was a wall radio and I've shown it to you and I really can't say an awful lot more about it than that, but... Some people have asked me if I could put out the odd quicker video every now and then, so this definitely qualifies for that. I haven't taken up too much of your day and you've managed to see something that you might not have seen before. So that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.